Hi, this is question number four from the AQA Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. Stefan is a roofing contractor who is often required to replace loose ridge tiles on house roofs. In order to help him to quote more accurately the prices for such jobs in the future, it records for each of 11 recently repaired roofs, the number of ridge tiles replaced, which he's called X, and the time taken, which he's called Y. And um, these results are displayed here. So for part A, we're being told that the pairs of data values for roofs 1 to 7 are plotted on a scatter diagram that's on the opposite page. And we need to plot the four pairs of data values for roofs 8 to 11 on the scatter graph. OK, so I did this over here earlier. So you should have something that looks like that. OK, um, part B, um, rest to calculate the equation of the least squares regression line of y on x and draw um, this line on our scatter diagram. So our first job here is to calculate the least squares regression line of y on x. So that's going to be in the form y is equal to a plus bx. OK, now I'm going to input these values into my calculator and I'll show you how you do that. OK, so if I go to mode 2 and we want a plus bx2, that's going to be our regression mode. And we can input our values of x and y. So I've got 8, 11, so I'm going to input all the x's first and then the y's. And I'm going to pause the video there. You can put these values into your calculator and I'll skip ahead. OK, once those values are in, it's worth skipping back just to make sure and just check those values against these values in the table here because it's important that you get that part of it right. OK, and um, what you now want to do is if you exit this and we want to do a stats calculation now to work out what our values of a and b are so i press shift and then one and then i want the regression calculation which is number seven on my calculator and i'm going to work out the value of a which here is one and that is 1.3 so i know that a is equal to 1.3 OK, and then I want my stats calculation again, regression, and this time I want B, which is 0 0.405. So B is 0 0.405. OK, so I can write down my equation now. It's going to be Y is equal to 1.3 plus 0.405x. I now need to um, draw this line on my scatter diagram. So I'm going to move over to my scatter diagram now. I'm just going to copy this across with me. OK, and we're now looking to draw this line on my scatter diagram. Well, my gradient is going to be 0 0.405 and my y-intercept is going to be 1.3. Now, the easiest way to do this is if I substitute a value in for a couple of values in for x um, and then work out what the y-coordinate would be. So if x was 0, for example, I know that my y-coordinate is going to be 1.3, which is going to be the y-intercept, so I can mark that on. So I've got 1.3, which is going to be there. OK, and then if I put in x as, um, let's put in 20. So I'll use my calculator for this so I can be accurate. So I'm going to do 1.3, 1.3 plus 0 0.4. 
times and we'll put in 30 so then my x coordinate is 30 my y coordinate is going to be 13.45 so when my x coordinate is 30 y coordinate is going to be 13.45 and that's going to be roughly there I say roughly what you need to be exact with it though. Okay, right, so I can now draw a line that goes through those two points. Um, so I'll draw a light orange line that goes through those two points. Okay, and that there is going to be my regression line. Okay, so that's part B completed, or the first part of B. The second part of B says interpret your values for the gradient and for the intercept of this regression line. Well, the well the intercept tells us, um, which is this here, the 1.3. The 1.3 um, tells us how much, uh, how many how many hours it takes without changing any tiles at all. So this is going to be related to um, the time that Stefan takes setting up. Um, his ladders etc before starting his job so 1.3 um, represents so that's the y-intercept um, represents the initial setup time and the 0 0.405 so I should say represents the initial setup time in hours and the 0 0.405 represents um, the time taken per tile uh, represents the time taken per tile in hours okay now for part C we're asked to estimate the time that it would take Stefan to replace 15 loose ridge tiles on a house roof so we can use this equation here um, to work that out so for part C part C over here we need to do well the time taken or y would be equal to 1.3 plus 0 0.405 times 15 so we've got 1.3 plus 0 0.405 times 15 and that gives us a value of 7.37 hours and seven point three seven hours okay so um that's part c um, part D says, given that R denotes the residual for the point representing roof I, we want to calculate the value of R6. So our residual is how much above or below our observed value is um, compared to our predicted value. So we're looking for this here, 6 okay so our um, for 20 tiles our observed value is 8.8 .8, um, and we're now going to use our equation here to come up with a predicted value so my predicted value is going to be um, over here so we've got 1.3 plus 0 0.405 
times 20 and we're predicting 9.4 and I now need to do subtract that from my observed value which is 8.8 .8, and that gives me a negative 0 0.6 so I've got write it down here I've done 8.8 .8 take away and I did 1.3 plus 0 0.405 times 20 and that gave me a negative 0 0.6 okay and that's what the residual value is going to be now it needs to be negative because this is below our predicted value okay part two says state why the value of um, the summation of r from 1 to 11 gives no useful information about the connection between the number of ridge tiles replaced and the time taken well because of the way the the um, regression line is calculated the sum of the residuals is always going to be equal to zero so we can just say always equals zero and therefore it's not going to tell us anything that's useful it's, it's something that we will already know okay um i hope that was useful thanks very much for joining me i will see you next time